Boys, lads, boys, lads. Alright, let me get this out of here. What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Spanko. Friday Night Live, you already know the deal. Alright, uh, good evening, good evening. Nice to see you guys here. Um, so what today we're doing for our stream is we're going to be talking about OTS 15. I want to talk about that for a little bit. To be honest, I was going to do it as its own video, but let's talk about OTS 15 for a little bit. We're going to be doing some Cyber Dragons because after last stream, I was like, bro, Cyber Dragons legit. So I've been deck testing and I was like, you know what, let's do some Cyber Dragons. And then we're going to do some Dinos, current format Dinos, not future format Dinos, current format Dinos. I just think that's going to be good. And then at the end, if we have time, I think I'm going to do some variety streaming. Just do some random games if you guys think it's good. If you guys want to do it. We'll see how it goes by the end of the stream. But definitely we're going to be talking about OTS 15. We're going to be doing Cyber Dragons. We're going to be doing um, Dinos. Richard, how are you? I hope everything's good. I hope everyone's good. Friday night. Um, I hope you guys are going to have a good weekend. I mean, the weekend just started. But we'll see. Hold up. Let me turn my light on. There we go. I was going to say, I was like, my lighting is weird. All right. How's the... Is it, is it blurry? No, it should be good now, right? Should be good. All right, we're, we're Gucci, I think. I think, I believe we're Gucci. All right. So first thing on the agenda is we're going to be talking about OTS 15. And I'm just going to wait for people to hop on in chat because I need chat to talk about this too, right? I want, I want to talk to you guys about this because I need your honest opinions and honest thoughts about this. Because if I'm being real, bro, I don't, I don't like this set whatsoever. I think OTS 15 is flop. By the way, let me know in chat if... Um, music is too loud or there's not loud enough or whatever the situation is because then we're just starting chat so or we're just starting a stream so uh let me know i think it should be good though if i'm not mistaken if it's too loud let me know but i think it's okay anyways yeah i need to know what you guys thoughts about ots 15 is because i'm gonna be honest with you i know people say they like hulk as their ulti which i was like all right when they announced hulk i was like all right when they announced this, I was like, okay, you know what? As a GX fan, I'm, I'm going to just say, all right. I don't think it's a good OTS ultimate. I think they should have done it some other way. I guess it's better than a Starlight, though. So I'm not going to lie. I was like, all right, whatever. It's it's an ulti. We'll take it. But then they had teased these two like a long time ago, like over a month ago at this point. Dark Requiem is the third ultimate rare we're getting. Who decided that we should get Dark Requiem as our third ultimate rare? Like, I don't understand where this decision or where this idea came from. Because PK, did they think PK was going to be meta? But even if PK was meta, like, there is no reason for the Dark Requiem to even be in here. As an ultimate? Why didn't they make it a super rare? Because what was it before? Secret rare, right? It was a secret rare. The pack list is definitely underwhelming. Super underwhelming, in my opinion. Okay, so super rare. So, first of all, let's talk about the ultis. The ultis are automatically, like, just, in my opinion, bad. Like, level 10 is cool, again, like I said, for a collector's piece. And I'm, I'm actually, like, as a, again, as a JX guy, I love this stuff. Health came way too late. I guess they wanted to give it an upgrade. That's fine. If they wanted to do that, they, whatever. Like, you know what? Like, when they announced these two originally, I was like, you know what? Needle fibers, I don't like it, but I understand it, you know? Um, yeah, Dark Requiem is, is what is it? What did you guys say? What's Dark Re Why Dark Requiem? That's dumb on another level. That's what I said. And I'm not the kind of guy... Who thinks Konami does a lot of stupid things. I know people complain about Konami all the time. I'm not the kind of guy who complains about Konami all the time. But I think this was a mistake. Like this should have been a super rare. And uh, if it was a super rare. I'd actually be super happy. Because the only way to get Dark Rep game. It's the secret rare right. From. It's not Echo. Oh it's old. It's kind of old now right. Yeah it's a secret rare. It's an old secret rare. But point is. It's hard to get now. So I was like okay. If they gave this to us as a super rare. It would make sense. But to get it as an ultimate rare. Like. Can I be honest. The only ulti you want to pull from this, if we're talking monetary value, is going to be Hulk. Uh, Arm Dragon, I think, in like two, three, four, five years is going to be worth a lot of money just because it's going to be hard to get. But I think off the bat, it's not going to be expensive. And I think Dark Requiem is going to be a $20 ultimate rare. And it's only going to be $20 because it's ultimate rare. Literally the only reason why I think it's going to be $20. Otherwise, I don't even think it would be a $20 ultimate. Like, I, it's, not, it's not worth. The card sucks. Even in PK decks, what do they play as a one of for like their combo? And even though they don't even end on Dark Requiem, they make the other one, the new one, right? Arc Rebellion or something like that, whatever it's called. Um, why wasn't Barricade Board Blocker super in the tins? Besides Hulk, Punishment, maybe a Novocation. Uh, Noctovision, Trash overall. Plus, it's just going to look like whatever because they don't foil. 
uh, the monsters no more. They just put the background, so I don't even think it'll collect the LTs. I mean, I'm going to want the level 10. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to collect the Arm Dragon level 10 for the GX collection. Which, by the way, I can show you guys the GX collection too if you guys want to see that. I think, that. I think that would be cool. Actually, I might do that on stream today. I might do that a little bit later. In addition, I don't think any of the ultimate cards are played in three copies of the decks. I think even in Hulk's case, it's a one-of. Dark Requiem is a one-of in PK. And Arm Dragon is, I don't even know if people play the regular Arm Dragon anymore in the new Arm Dragon. Because I thought it was just only the, the, the new Arm Dragon cards, like the Thunder Arm Dragon. So I don't know about that. They're all maximum one-ofs. Which is good because for price it's better. For price-wise it's better because it makes it so that's cheaper. Now if you collect the ultimate rares, it is cheaper. However, like the problem is, who's going to want these? Right? Uh, OTS 15 is Cheeks, I know. Uh, hello, hey J-Ship, nice to see you here. Um, so yeah, I think these are bad. Again, Arm Dragon level 10, I'm going to like it. Uh, because, uh, you know, it's just Arm Dragon, it's Ultimate Rare, it's GX, whatever. That's just my own nostalgia issues hitting me. I think Requiem is a common in the Legendary deck. If it's a common... Oh, I got money. Nice. If it's a common, um, it's uh, it, 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 that's even worse. Then they put it as a, as a secret, then a common, then an Ultimate Rare. It makes no, the logic behind this makes no sense. Um, okay, the Ultimate Rares we know are bad. Like, there's no way around it. it sucks it's bad uh super rares barricade should have been super rare in the tins i uh agree the mega tins right i agree i think that that makes sense i don't mind barricade as an ots super here okay let me be honest borbo i think is okay uh punishment i think is okay barricade i think is okay even though you guys are right it should have probably been a super in the tins but barricade i think is okay um noctovision i have friends who play dragon link and they're like trying to convince me that noctovision is a good super rare I think it's a techie card. I think the card's not that great. Um, uh, Shadal Dragon is just who's playing Shadal Dragon anymore. Like Shadal format was when three, four, five, six formats ago. Like when we actually play in real person. Like when's the last time you saw Shadal player? Um, Chaz, what'd you say? I love Hawk as an ulti. I'm a mix. A mix on Requiem. Love the super somewhat more than the ulti. Common Requiem is too popular. So there's common Requiem. Oh, okay. So if there's only a common Requiem, why did they print it as an ulti? That makes no sense. I, okay, I think Hulk, I, this way, okay, so I think Hulk is not a bad ulti. It's the best one out of the three, for sure. Level 10 is cool because I just want, it's going to be cheap, first of all, which is kind of nice. It's going to be cheap, and I can put it into my GX collection. We'll take that. This was just, I, you know, okay, here's my biggest issue with the OTS, all right? Beyond the ultis, is the fact that a lot of people now get OTS packs only through purchasing product from, you know, the locals right because the, the new way konami does it now because there's no tournaments or whatever anymore i guess if you have online tournaments you can win it that way but the other way to win it is you know when you purchase a certain amount from your locals they give you an ots pack at least that's how most of the locals here in mississauga and toronto are doing it where it's like you spend 20 dollars or 15 dollars you get an ots pack you spend 30 dollars you get two ots packs etc right it makes sense and so what i noticed was a lot of the time people were incentivized to buy product because they would get these ots packs i know i did it I have a couple friends who did it. So they were like, you know what? Like if I buy a bunch of OTS or a bunch of product, I'm getting OTS packs for free pretty much, right? Like free, you know what I mean? The problem is who's going to be incentivized by this OTS pack? You know what I'm trying to say? Uh, Borbo and Shadal Dragon should have been supers and OTS. That's, that's what I'm saying. Shadal Dragon and Bor like Borbo is, is still cool now, I think, because Zoo Eldlich and the Zoo variants are coming out again now. Um, but again, yeah. Shadal Dragon and Borbo should have been supers long time ago in OTS. Uh, when Whiptail got an ulti, why didn't they just do Borbo Super in the same Whiptail um, set? What was Whiptail? OTS 8? 7? Whatever it was. Um, so yeah, I think that was that one's bad. Punishment, I guess, is okay. Noctovision, I guess, is okay. Barricade, Board Walker is okay. Someone correct me, but wasn't this Infernoble Knight already a super rare? Or was it an ultra rare? Does even you, okay, I don't even play Infernoble Knight. Do people play this one specifically in their decks? Because I don't know. Cause that's that's what I'm trying to say. Like I, I don't and like they did this Melfi thing for people to meme and be like, oh my god, Melfi super! Like come on, come on, get out of here, bro. Like the token, whatever. They throw in a token in every set. It's whatever that's expected. But this doesn't make sense in my opinion. These two don't make sense. This one's kind of cool. I, I kind of like the Borbo, whatever. I think it's late, but yeah, I kind of like the Borbo. Um, wh what is cross out even? And don't even get me started. Oh, this was a rare. Okay, but do people play it? Like, it, it, sure, it was a rare, but do people play it? And then, um, and if they do, then sure. Um, and then Proxy F. Someone explain to me Proxy F Magician. Please, please chat. Because I don't get it. 
I, I've seen some random Cybers decks. Like, you know when those people come to your locals and they're like, I'm playing my Cybers deck. Uh, if that's you, I'm sorry. <laughs> but they'll play the Neville. Who's playing Proxy of Magician, to be honest? Be honest with me. Because I actually don't understand how this card got a super rare. I, I don't get it. I, I just, I don't understand. A cross out doesn't make sense. Like, Punishment, I guess it's cool. But again, who's playing Dogmatica now? It's too late. Like, it's too late. I guess actually wait no I guess I guess it makes sense because like this is the first OTS since Dogmatica came out because I think the other OTS OTS 14 was before Dogmatica came out so okay punishment whatever we'll take it what even is proxy f magician is it new no it's not new it's freaking old proxy proxy f magician look at this look at this it came out in etco so kind of old now at this point almost a year during your main phase, you can fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters on your field as fusion materials. So it's a polymerization when you summon it. Uh, you can special summon one monster with 1,000... Wait. If a fusion monster is fusion summoned to a card this points to, you can special summon one monster with 1,000 or less attack from your hand. And you can use it once per turn. Someone explain? Someone? I don't get it. What's the other one? Oh, Melfi, Melfi, here, I'll show you. Melfi, Mommy, is that what you were asking for? It's just an, it came as a, it came as a common in Rise of the Duelist. The newest, not the newest set. Newest set is the Blazing Vortex. It's set before it, Rise of the Duelist. The one with, um, whatever. Is Melfi Rabbi the one deciding this OTS? That's, that doesn't make, I mean, whatever, man. Like, I get they want to give these Melfi players, if there's even such thing as a Melfi player. I like Cross Sheep more. Did Cross Sheep come as a super? No, it didn't. It came as an ultra in the tins, right? Cross Sheep would have been a really good super rare. Cross Sheep would have been a good, really good... I mean, whatever. It came as an ultra in the tins, but I think Cross Sheep would have been a good super rare here. Like, what? what is Proxy F Magician? All right. Now let's talk about the commons, because this is what pisses me off. All right? Now I get it. The commons aren't what people are after in the OTS packs. I get it. That's not, like, where your money is coming from, whatever, blah, 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 blah. But when I tell you guys, there have been good commons in OTSs before. I'm talking Imperial Order. I'm talking Flame Buffalo. I'm talking True Kings, like Return. True Kings, um, um, the spell. One of his heritage, I think, is a uh, common. Um, I know it came as a super too. So yeah. Um, what else commons did they come out? Uh, Artifact Moral Attack came out as a common. Sea Archiver came out as a common. There's just so many commons that have been good in OTS. Kaminari Attack, Chanbara. Uh, Gigantis, um, uh, I can't even think of the other commons. They're kind of like coming in and out of my head. The point is, there have been good commons in OTSs before. What am I looking at here? Okay, Arm Dragons, again, I understand the Arm Dragons because of the Arm Dragon support. I understand the Wind Witch because of the Wind Witch support. Plus, I think the Wind Witch has got commons in other OTSs, but this one didn't. Like, Ice Spell specifically didn't, so I was like, okay, I get this. Did they put in Griffin Wing because Feather Duster came back to one? Does do you guys do you guys know what Griffin Wing does? It's all about that token game, bro. Yeah, yo, yo, the, the token game is this is this is cool. I don't mind that. But we, we, Griffin Wing. Does anyone even know what this does? Because I it's an old old card. Do you guys know what this card does? Because when I tell you this is meme, like, when your opponent activates Harpy's Feather Duster, negate its effects, and destroy all spell or trap cards your opponent controls. It's like, it's like there's another trap card called, like, White Hall, when if you're, White Hole, if your opponent uses Dark Hole, you can chain it, and then it Dark Hole's your opponent only. There's a card called, I think, Anti-Ragiki, where it's like, if your opponent activates Ragiki, then you just negate the Ragiki, Ragiki your opponent. Who decided to put it's not a counter. Griffin Wing is an ancient... Bro, it's not a counter. Who is going to play this? Like, someone explain to me who is going to play Griffin Wing. For a one of Harpy... Konami's actually memeing with this one. What a stupid, stupid... Might as well throw an anti regga keeper in them. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't make sense to me. Why would you waste a spot on this? All right. The Arm Dragon stuff, again, that makes sense. I think level 7 is kind of cool because I don't think level 7 ever gotten a print other than the Ultra Rare. I might be wrong. But I think I, I think it's only print ever is an Ultra Rare. So I was like, okay, level 7, whatever, makes sense. Um, at that point, I'd rather play Starlight. R Thank you. Like... <laughs> 
please tell me it's not just me who thinks this. Like, this OTS makes no sense to me, boy. Oh my god. Damn, okay. I don't even get me started. Okay, so I know this is because there's that... And uh, this is what I don't understand, okay? Let me, let me say another point. I know I'm ranting here, but let me say another point. Don't worry, I'll read chat. I've been reading chat, so it's fine. I understand this Amorphage card has an FD, FDK, I guess, or or not an FDK. What's it called? Um, What's it called? Not an FDK. It's like you put you make this so your opponent can't play pretty much. Your opponent skips their main phase one, can't go into battle phase. They can't go into main phase two. They have to skip their turn, you know, with the dry trons, whatever. Um, um, You know what I mean? So, like, there's that combo. So, I understand that. And it's not a good combo per se, but I know people play it. I know, I think Sam put it on his channel. It's possible. Like, you can get that kind of thing, right? Konami hates FDKs. Konami hates hand, loop, hand loops. In, like, in, in history, every time there's been an FDK or a hand loop or something that just says, no, you can't play. Like, I guess VFD, you can argue. Like, VFD, people say, like, oh, you can't play. Like, you can still technically play under VFD. But you can't play when you don't have a turn, Right? And they decide to put this card in here. The card that makes it so that I can't play you. Like, do you guys know what I'm trying to say? So, this card says, if you guys don't know what this card, I don't know exactly what it reads, but it pretty much says that your opponent has to skip their main phase one. So, if their opponent skips their main phase one, goes into main phase two, and, or, or sorry, goes into battle phase, they actually can't go into main phase two because they skipped their main phase one. That's just a ruling in the game, whatever. So, you can't go into main phase two. So, you have to go directly into end phase after battle phase. And you can't battle, obviously, because you have no muscle in the field. Like, you're. You're going second, right? Whatever. Why would Konami put this in there? It's a super rare, I think an old super rare, but whatever. Why would Konami put this in there promoting that? There's no reason for that. And someone explained to me. Someone, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just letting chat talk right now because I'm I'm getting I got heated when I saw this. Someone explained to me the 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 vampire support. Are these new cards or something? Like have they never been released in the TCG? It's an Uno skip card. That's what I'm saying. This literally like who who in Konami thought that look okay let me let me show you guys one more thing oh YGO where's YGO organization okay let's search OTS 15 okay my internet's being garbage okay so this was oh this is today's this is today's let's go back to the original okay so the original leak all right the original leak for Arm Dragon level or for OTS 15 was insane. Because we talked about Arm Dragon level 10, everyone knew. Hulk is an ultimate rare. Cool, everyone knew. And then they're like, okay, you know, you saw these and I was, you were like, okay, should all dragons maybe not the best super rare, but you'll take it. You'll take Borbo. You'll take punishment, right? You'll take this. Like, this is not a problem. Right? So this is what they teased, right? This was January 7th, so this is a month ago. Okay. A month ago they teased this, and it looked like it was going to be a really good OTS. Just because, you know, you had Hawk as an ulti, you got some decent supers, and this is not even, like, everything yet. This is, like, oh, three or four cards. So, like, oh, shit, this, this could be so much better. And then, whoever was doing this was a senior at Konami. Whoever did this is an intern. Whoever did this is new to the company. They don't know what's going on. Like, <laughs> I'm so pissed off. I'm so pissed off. Let me look at chat. You're almost at 4K. Thanks, baby. Yes, I am almost at 4K. Tell your friends. Tell your friends to subscribe. I need to get to 4K soon. You got 5K. I'm doing a really nice opening for you guys. Um, no, those are some older vampire support. How dare they? Entry packs we get as consolation not have fantastic cards in them. Do you think Imperm should have been added to the OTS? Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Stop me you guys for a second. Let me, let me say this. I don't think that they necessarily should have made this like, oh, reprint everything. Bro, okay, man, we've had good OTSs before. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. We've had good OTSs before. But, like... Requiem? Griffin Wing? Like, this doesn't make sense. What is the site you're looking at? This is Twitter. I'm on Twitter. But you guys, you can check it on um, YGO Organization if you guys want to go on YGO Organization. You can just type in OTS15. They have an article from today. Um, right here. And then you'll see the list in here. So you guys can either go on the YGO Organization or you can go on... Like, I just have it on Twitter open from before, so... Which, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter. Uh, but yeah. Or commonly even ma matched. I don't think they would have put commonly evenly matched. I don't think that would have... Um... The, the thing is with OTS, it's a little bit different, I think. I don't think they 
they should use OTS as an opportunity to reprint newer era cards. I think they should take it as an opportunity to reprint older cards. So like, for example, when they reprinted, I think a while ago, they reprinted, um, I think a pointer of the Lotus is a super rare. I think that makes sense because a pointer is a card from 2004 that who knows? Like, that's why it's like, a, I think at one point it's like a 10, $15 common. That makes no sense. It's a 10, $15 common, right? That, so that, that's what I mean. But Griffin wing, bro. What's up, Spanko? What's up? Uh, can you do a tier list of all the OTS packs we've received? Oh, do you guys want to do that? If chat says yes, if chat says yes to doing that, I'll do it. I'll go through the OTSs right now on stream for you guys and do it. Um, can we talk about how Call by the Grave got limited? Everyone said it was to make way for Crossout Designator and Crossout is in, in Blazing Vortex also. Why did they... I agree. They, um, doesn't make sense. Call by the Grave should have been, should still be at three to this day. There's no reason it should have ever gone to one. Um. And I don't think they banned it because Crossout didn't designate it either. That was just people's speculation because they just wanted to hope. Because uh, I remember when they banned it, or not banned it, they put it to one. I remember when they put it to one, everyone was like, oh, it's for Crossout. Oh, it's for Crossout. They got to sell Crossout. I'm like, Konami never even said Crossout coming out. Like, no one knows about Crossout. Mm -hmm. But people want to say things to make, make themselves feel better, right? Um, I think they should be all Laundry Dragon. The, is that Dragon Maid? No, that's not Dragon Maid. That's freaking Appliance. Like, Scarlet, get out of here. <laughs> Scarlet, get out of here <laughs> with that laundry. Hold on, hold on. Can I edit? Hold on, hold on. Let me see. Should I edit a picture? Yo, Scarlet, Scarlet, do this for me if you're in chat. Uh, laundry dragon. You not drag. Wait, not dragon maid. Wait, were you talking about dragon maid? I thought you were talking about appliancer. Oh yeah, it's appliancer. All right, Scarlet, can you do me a favor because you're good at this stuff? Can you edit appliancer laundry dragon onto this image? And just have it all appliance or laundry dragon and then tweet it at me. Ash block Yo, J Ship. J Chip, I mean I should say. That that is a big brain idea. Ash Alti? They should have done that ages ago, to be honest. Uh let's do the OTS list. Do you guys want to do the OTS list? Yo, okay, if I get five yeses in chat, I'll do an OTS list. I'll do an OTS list if I just get five yeses in chat. Scarlet BRB. All right, all right, do it. Uh, <laughs> yo, you guys, if you guys don't know Scarlet, this guy is absolute memer. Uh, Crossout was supposed to be the chosen one. It was supposed to destroy the hand trap meta and not to be the one who vanished when the world needed it the most. That was that was very dramatic. Um, um, okay, so Sam says yes, we should do an OTS list. Yes, three. Okay, yes, three X doesn't count as three X yeses. What did I say? Five yeses? Okay, we're down. To, we're two. We're at two. <sighs> All right, man. You know what? I think if you guys want to see it, let's do it. Why not? Let's do it. Why not? All right, I gotta get. I gotta get the list of OTS packs out though. List of OTS pack. Actually, yeah, list of OTS packs. Hmm. Or no, OTS back card list, and I think I remember seeing a website before that said uh, I had every OTS pack. Whatever, let's start with OTS pack one. What's an OTS pack one? Artemis Vanity Fiend Dark Lob. These are this is a two hundred dollar, a hundred dollar card each, right? All right, guys, I'll do it. Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> Bro, this was okay. Let me just tell you. This off, forget the alties. Look at the supers, bro. Droll, Infernoid, Petrulia. We got Lizard Draw, Joker, Monkey Board, Turtle. This, the supers alone is better than OTS 15 entire list. Typhoon, Anti Spell. Let's put in Droll for the third time. Listen, what did they do? Droll, Super, Droll, Alti? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they should have done it. Why not? Why not? It's better than it's better than this. It's better than this. Eh. <laughs> that would have been funny though. If I saw Droll again, I would have been like, really? Look, okay. Yo, okay. This proves it even more. Look at this. Okay, Cyber Dragon Nova. Common. Allure of Darkness. Common. White Stone of Legend, I guess, whatever. It was already a sh cheap card, so that doesn't matter. But Whitestone and Legend. Flying Sea was really good for a long time. 
um, until Link Monsters came out. All right, actually, you know what? Okay, so OTS. Wait, how do you do the tier list thing? Tier list maker? Is it this? How do you use one of these things? Make a template? Mm. Template name chat. Do you guys have you guys ever done one of these? OTS. OTS tier. Tier list. Oh, do am I just searching? Never mind. I should have just pressed make your own template from the start. I'm memeing. OTS pack tier list. Alright, we got category. Doesn't matter. Is Yu-Gi-Oh category actually? Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh is a category. Okay, we'll take that. Uh, Cover letter. Oh, how do I do this stuff? How the heck do I do this? Square, add URL of image credits. Okay, one sec, one sec. So if I do, I just do I just add the picture of an image or uh, the link of an image? OTS pack uh, one, let's say. How do you guys do this? All right, so let's say I go OTS pack one. All right, whatever. Uh, copy the link. Is that how you do it? Oh, this is for credits. Never mind. I'm trolling. Uh, content size, uh, square portrait landscape works best. Use the minute or two images. Okay, you guys are gonna really make me download all the LTS packs. Guys, what's the best way to do this? I don't want to download everything and make it on stream right now, it's gonna take too long. I don't want to bore you guys. Do you guys want me to do it off stream and then I can make it as a video? What do you guys think of that idea? Do you guys like that idea? That might be a good video. Get these ads out of here, bro. Damn, they're making my computer super slow. I can do this for you and send you the link. Do it. Okay, yeah, yeah, J Chip, do this to me. I don't never done this tier list before. Make me the tier list thing. Send me the link. Do you have me on Twitter? Or just send it on chat and I can just open it in chat. Send me the link and then um I'll just move stuff around. Thank you. That was actually that's super clutch. I'll do that. I'll do that when when you get that done. So until then, I guess we just chill, chill and hang out. What are you guys saying? What's up? What's chat? What's chat up to? What are you guys doing at this uh fine Friday evening? You guys chilling? Oh, I'm waiting for Scarlet because I know Scarlet's about to pop off in my notifications. Uh, remote dual extravagance uh, MB MBT. Hmm. This is what my Twitter looks like. Du -du 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 -du. Oh, I want Pokemon stuff. Do you guys want to see a Pokemon late opening later too? I can do that if you guys want to see a Pokemon opening. Do, do, do. Yo, if you guys don't have Twitter, or if you guys do have Twitter and don't follow me, follow me. I'm literally the most active on Twitter. So if you guys ever want to... Oh shit, this is me plugging myself. Uh, if you guys will ever want to um, link me, Twitter is probably the best way to go, to be honest with you. Gonna indulge in some pizza. Let's go. Pizza is the best way to go. Best way to indulge. Do, do, do. I'm at work on an ambulance. I'm an emergency medical technician. That's sick. Actually, that's amazing. That's amazing. Actually, I could never do medical tech. So I'm in. So I'm in medical school actually right now, but I could never be a medical technician. I suck at that kind of stuff. You know why? I started stream like ten minutes late because I couldn't figure out how to put my face cam on. I've done this already how many times at this point? <laughs> I, I suck with technology. Before I started streaming, I had the tutorial. I was like, how do I start stream? Like, it was, it was so bad. I was so bad at this kind of stuff. What else is new on the organization? Why'd you organization? Mm, 
happen really i guess is this all from today damn merchandise uh atsuko maximum gold collector sets blah 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 ots this is supposed to be uh pegasus right yeah right i remember seeing that and i was like i swear that's pegasus but i might be tripping Yo, I actually kind of like this. I've seen this before. I just want to say, it's kind of expensive. Yeah, 140. It looks kind of cool, though. Oh! 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 Yo, look at this. Yo, look at this. Scarlet did it. <laughs> Yo, he actually did it. <laughs> Yo, what's like? <laughs> this is funny oh let me like this uh that's content this is this is content this is content oh that's some good that's some good stuff that's some good stuff the blue eyes figure is fire the blue eyes figure is fire i won't lie i think it's really cool it's kind of expensive though and uh, does it say the dimensions by the way because um uh it looks kind of small right how am i wrong comedy scarlet you never failed to come through this is the best ots pack i've ever seen in my life best deck best ots pack best ultimate rares this could be the new ban list what just laundry dragon <laughs> laundry dragon ban list everything banned just laundry dragon Oh man, that was funny. That was a good laugh. All right. Anyways, okay. J Chip is gonna be sending us the tier list. Until then, though, until then, let's see if we can get some duels in. So uh, let me turn this off. There we go. All right. So, uh, what do we do? What do we have here? Okay, we're playing Cyber Dragon. That's the list. Uh, I I would be really afraid. If my opponent activates Griffin Wing on my Harpy's Feather Duster. Uh, let's go. US has nobody in it. Look how busy EU is compared to US, bro. EU is so much better. Alright, let's go. Uh, Senor. Senor Spanko. Alright, if you guys ever want to hop on. Senor Spanko is the name. Friggin' no. Let's go to hunt chat. This could be the new ban. No. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, don't ban it. Scott's Sky, Sky's best deck. That's what he's known for. He's literally known as the appliancer. He made... Scott, did you make two songs for appliancers or one? I don't, remember, I don't remember the one song. Did you make a second song? I feel like you made the second song. Oh, I lost. But that's fine. I want to go second anyways. Bro. Cyber Dragon is actually disgusting. Core Dupe Plant Crow Nibiru. I don't care what you do. You're gonna get Nibiru. You're playing Adding this to get out of my face. This is so nasty. This deck is so nasty, man. Just one. Yo, I'm gonna listen to it. Yo, we'll listen. Are you gonna copyright me if I put it on in stream? Kind of want to show people your song if they haven't heard it yet. What is this? Lingaribo? Mm. This concept of Lingaribo was always funny to me. Uh, sure. Because, like, they make a, a Karibo for each um, era, right? So they had Karibo, Wing Karibo, Junk Karibo. Was that 5Ds? Um, what was Exo? I forget what Exo was. One, two, three, four. It's at four summons. Pretty sure he loses as soon as I make this. Oh, he's gonna make Rafflesia, isn't he? For Grave Keepers. If he makes Rafflesia Grave Keepers, that's. Uh, Rafflesia for Grave Keepers, that's very, very smart of him. If he doesn't make Rafflesia, he's done though. 
Oh, no, he didn't. Can he even continue if I... What did this card do? Five seven the graveyard, you use a code time, send one cyber monster with 1200 attack or defense to the graveyard, or this card, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um... I won't nibu him just yet. I won't nibu him just yet. It's kind of cringe, but comedy. I'm gonna yo. Let me let me play it for them. Let me play it for chat. I don't know if they've seen it. Boys, have you guys seen his song? If it's a yes, then I won't play it. Or if Scarlet doesn't want me to play it, I won't play it. But I think it's good. I want to play it. The only thing that is good is the ulti Chris draw and Hulk. Yeah, I think Hulk is okay. I don't mind Hulk, to be honest with you. I think everything else is garbage, though. He summons it back, right? Sure. Does Lingaribo provide any sort of protection? Trap card, quick effect, tribute this card to negate it. If I just Nibiru him here, does he just lose? Does he just lose? I'm going to do it. Because I think he loses. That's a big Demiru though. Doesn't really matter. Yo, if he plays Link Spider, he could go Link Spider and then summon another normal monster from his hand, but I don't think that's going to happen either. What is the worst OTS set to date? If I'm being honest with you, Chaz, I think it's this one. I think it's OTS 50. We're going to be doing a thing later, though. We're going to do, um, what's it called? A tier list later. Once uh, J-Chip sends me the link to the tier list maker. Yo, I have OTK. No hand traps? Okay. Uh, I have repair plans. I don't want emergency. I could emergency. I could rev system. It literally does not matter. I'll search emergency, I guess. Maybe rev system was the way to go. Uh, let's dupe targets. And now I just win. No. Uh, one, two. Does Infinity have to be attack position monster or face up monster? Can't remember. Face up attack position. Oh, I should have put the token in attack. Actually, I can't even think. I can't even suck up a token. Can I? I don't know. Regardless, it doesn't matter though. Um, what I am going to do here is I'm going to make... Uh, where's Almarosh? Almarosh. And then... I'm going to repair plants. I'm surprised he's letting me play this out. Unless he has an bureau of his own. Add a light machine type monster from your deck to my hand. And then I'm going to add Galaxy Soldier. I don't know. I cyber emergency for hers. Actually, so I don't lose to the bureau. I actually don't want to troll here. One second. Um, activate. Cyber Dragon. All right, now I make Infinity. Doesn't really matter where he goes. Um, and then I can Cyber Emergency. Is he really letting all this go through? For hers. And then, does do they have something to stop this? I have Cyberload, right? Cyberload has to be field or banished. Uh, yes. Rest of this turn, okay. Activate hers. Uh, let's add a Cyber Dragon to our hand. And then search Galaxy Soldier. 
Um, I don't even want to make double infinity. Should I just make Seeger? Seeger. Hold up. Seeger here. Um, can I use hand material for this? Or is it just field? Can you use someone fusion mother extra deck that among cards on your field and or face up banished cards? I wish this was overload. Overload would have been much better here. If I pitch this, I can pitch this, summon this. Um, Seeger attack. Seeger's if this card has an attack, right? Uh, where is it? During each battle phase, if this card has not declared an attack, quick effect, target one machine monster you control with 2100 or more. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's a play, that's a play. You make Seeger here. Do, 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 Wait. Uh, Seeger needs what? Two machine monsters, including a cyber dragon. Oh, I can't use Almirage? Oh, I could just use Soldier, right? One, two. Okay, hold up, hold up. Hold up. I'm gonna do this first. Nope. Summon. I'm going to make a second infinity here. Question is, do I want to? I kind of don't. Actually, no, I can't even make a second infinity because I can only make it once per turn, right? Um... I just make... Oh, I can't use this anymore. Oh, okay. I do it this way now then, I guess. Uh, do, 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 do. Actually, what am I doing? I just do this. I just do this. I have game, I'm pretty sure. I make dragoons. Uh, target a monster to become dark. No, copy poly. I didn't need to summon the second one, but whatever, it's fine. Oh, I could copy overload. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, actually. Fuck dragoons. Why would I make Dragoons? Uh, no. Rampage. Using from my graveyard a core. And a hers. That's it. No, not the core. I'm going to use a hers and a Cyber Dragon. Okay. And then I'm going to activate his effect. And you can attack 15 million times. And I'm pretty sure I just win. Send a hers and I'll send, it doesn't really matter, I'll send a core. Okay, battle phase. Uh, I'll attack over the Nibiru. Do they have anything? Alright, let's go for, uh, let's just torture him. Let's go for 21. 21. Let's go for... 25. Does he have Battle Fader? Like, why is he sticking this one out? It's called Scoop Phase, my guy. Attack. Finish the tier list. Where can I send it to? Is it, if it's a link, send it to me in chat. Send it in chat, and I'll do it. I'll just click the link from chat. And I'll attack again. GG's, my guy. Look at this board. Super easy dubs. We only take dubs here. Cyber Dragon's insane. Alright. Well, I can rematch no, because I'm going to do an OTS tier list at the moment. Alright. If it's a link, yeah. If it's a link, uh, send it to me in chat. If it's not a link, send it to me on Twitter. Yeah, send it to me on Twitter if it's not a link. I don't know how, I don't know how this whole thing works. Twitter? Oh, blessed. Arigato, my friend. Yo, big shout out to uh, J Chip for hooking this one up. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Blast, 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 blast. Where, where is, where is? Uh, let me change my, let me change my screen real quick. Okay, okay, okay. So, what we gotta do is we gotta look at OTS lists, 
Um, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to type in OTS pack one card list. All right. Uh, let's go OTS pack two card lists. Duplicate OTS pack three card list. Duplicate. Sorry, guys. You guys are going to have to watch me do all this, but it's going to be fun. Four card list. Duplicate. We got to do this 15 times in a row. Uh, five card list. Uh, duplicate. Six card list. Duplicate. Seven card list. We're halfway there, boys. We're halfway there. Duplicate. Eight card list. Mm, duplicate. Nine card list. Holy boys. Close. Duplicate 10. Duplicate 11. Duplicate 12. All right. Peace out, Scarlet. Thank you for joining. Have a good night. Thank you for the meme. Um, 13. Have a good weekend, too, if I don't talk to you. 13, duplicate 14, and duplicate 15. All right, boys, we're done. Boys, lads, boys, we're done. Okay, so we have all 15 thanks to J Chip, and we are going to start with OTS pack one. Okay, so what am I looking at here? Actually, let's open these all up so these are all open. I really remember liking OTS pack eight, but I don't know if that's a fact or I just made that up. But I feel like I really liked OTS pack eight. Five. Yeah, why am I pressing so many things? It's destroying my speed right now. Yo, if you guys didn't know, by the way, I use a laptop to stream. I don't have a PC. So, uh, I don't have a PC. So, uh, sometimes when I stream, it kind of gets me. But it's fine. All right, let me just press these links real quick. It'll open up eventually. No problemo. OTS pack 14. Does this one have a card list here? Okay, that's fine. And OTS 15, we know the card list. I wish we didn't know the card list, but we do. Very unfortunate OTS pack. Oh, that doesn't have the card list. Um, To be honest, I know where I'm going to put OTS pack 15. It's going, it's literally, I think, the worst OTS I've ever seen. But we're going to find out. Where's YG Organization? I'll just pull it out there. We're going to find out if it truly is the worst OTS pack of all time. All right, boys. We're set. All right, we'll start off with OTS pack one. So, OTS pack one. Battle for Artemis. Meh. So, I mean, it's whatever. It's counter traps, but it's whatever. It's not that great. We have Vanity Fiend, which I think is an insane ulti, even though I had an ulti already, but I think it's a really good ulti. I have actually a playset of OTS ulties and a playset of CDIP ulties. Uh, um, Dark Law, insane. I think this card is really good. Um, I wish it wasn't as expensive because I'd probably own it if it wasn't. Uh, Droll, very good super. Patrulia, very good super. But granted, I don't think Patrulia really needed a reprint at this time. Yo, because we got to be... Okay, let's, 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 let's get... The, okay, before we get into this tier list right here, which here's a tier list. Before we get into this tier list, let me just tell you guys that we got to take this into account with what that format-ish was. Actually, no, we're not going to do that. We're just going to see what the best OTS packs is now. All right. Because I guess being the best also means that it's aged well. But uh, Lizard Draw, Joker, Monkey Board, Turtle, uh, Dracul uh, Donester, Anti-Spell. Like, I think OTS pack 1 is like S tier, bro. Nova... Allure of Darkness common. Uh, Imp Typhoon, Imperial Iron Wall. Granted, Imperial Iron Wall is not as played now. And then obviously these guys aren't as played now. But in general, like these are really good reprints. Lightstone of Legend. Flying Sea was really good at the time too. Michael was iffy. My, I mean, Michael's a good card, but don't know why that was really a thing. All right. Let me look at the other ones. Let me look at the other ones before I make a decision. OTS Pack 2. We have, uh, I remember this one. I, I remember Ultimate Regal Ricky was like cool and then it came out and it didn't look that good. These two are cool. 
Never really saw play. Kira saw a little bit of play. Marmax not too much. Uh, Gamma was a really good super. Phoenix Rhino Warrior was an amazing super. Mithra was pretty good in Monarchs. Ragged Gloves is cool. Blue Layer is okay, I guess. Um, System Down was a good super rare. Masker Restrict was a good super rare at the time. Prime was a good super rare. Core was a common. Infinity Arch Fiend was a common. Wire Trap was a common. This is really good. Dark Loss $250. I know Dark Loss freaking $250. If it wasn't, I'd have them. But they're so expensive. Alright, so that's OTS Pack 2. Um, okay. So actually, just going off the first two OTS Packs. Let me say OTS Pack 1. Is this in order? No, it's not. So 1, this is 1. So OTS Pack 1, let me say, is 100% S tier. Everything from the ultis to the supers to the commons were meta relevant at their time and still are in a way today. So OTS Pack 1 was S tier. OTS Pack 2, I want to say is B tier. I wouldn't say A tier. I wouldn't say A tier just yet. Alright, let me get rid of OTS. Actually, let's keep it up so we can compare. Alright, let's go to OTS 3. I want to say this is B tier, but let's go into OTS pack 3. Chat, if you guys have any ideas, by the way, if you guys have anything you think where it should go, let me know. Um, Swap, Teratop, Grand Pulse. Really good ultis, especially for the time. Teratop is still a good ulti, it's just at 1. If it wasn't at 1, this would be insane. Um, it's really good ulties off the bat. This is, in my opinion, this is a 3 for 3. Uh, Gold Driver, good super. Duprog, good super. Cycle Reader was a good super. So that's three good supers. Four Sky Iris, I guess was played for a little bit. Domain, obviously, is a really good super. Uh, okay, the rest of the supers were whatever. We got Black Dragon's Chick. That's not the egg, right? No, that's not the egg. Um, DD Crow. Knight and Sorcerer is okay. Rare Fish, I remember, was expensive. Because it was like the only instant fusion fish target. But I don't think... I mean, instant fusion is that one now, so obviously it's not that great. Alright, this is definitely... Oh, man. I want to say this is like C tier, but the ultis are A tier. Chaos Trap Hole was pretty good. Alright, you know what? OTS 3 is going to be B tier. And OTS 2 is also going to be B tier. I don't think... OTS 2 had really good cards. Outside of the... Like, the ultis were... I... Mm. Okay, guys. I'm going to do it where if it's at the front, it's like right before A tier. So I would say OTS 3 is right before A tier. And then OTS 2 is like here. Okay, we'll go into OTS 4 now. What is OTS 4 saying? Utopia, Instant Fusion, so I'm sorry. 3 for 3 again, in my opinion. OTS 2 is C, B. Yeah, okay, so OTS 3 was B tier for sure. OTS 2 was really good on the ult. Oh, no, not good on the ult. He's really good on the supers, though. Gamma Seal Super. Phoenix Rhino Super. Mithra Super. PK Ragged Glove Super. System Down Super. Prime Monarch Super. You had Infernity Archfiend as a common. Core is a common. Cyber Dragon Core. Melody of Awakening Dragon is a common. No, I think this is B tier. I would say OTS 2 is a B tier. Uh, Ulti Swap Frog is pretty cool. Sure, Paleo isn't meta, but it's solid. 100%. That's why I think it's B tier. Because they, I think the ultis in this one are really good. I, Grand Pulse, I think, is still really good. Um, yeah, I think this is definitely B tier. This is easily B tier. Easily. The supers weren't as good as OTS 2, but the ultis were definitely better. All right, we'll move into super OTS 4. Um, Ronin Tonin, Photon Thrasher. Humongous, Swirl Slime, Abyss Ragnarok, Gofu. Oh shit, this is like A tier. Lancia, Barrier Statues, Union Hanger Super Rare, Coach King Giant Trainer. Chat, is this A tier? I would say this is A tier. Okay, let's talk about meta relevancy and, and just general, but meta relevancy at that time and today. First of all, these three are still. Solemn Strike Ultimate Rare is still insane. Okay? Um, Psalm Strike is insane. Instant Fusion is only because it's out of one. I think Instant Fusion Ulti was insane. I still want to play some of them because if in the future it comes back to three, it's good. So I think Instant Fusion, especially meta relevancy, Instant Fusion is three of uh, in any deck. Psalm Strike was a three of in any deck. Juice Lightning was maybe usually a one of, but it's playable. So three for three in the Ultis. Wolfling. 
good for metal falls ronin totem good for frogs photon thrasher good for just general stuff but like abc let's say humongous kaiju swirl slime and ragnarok gofu one day of peace union hanger bear your statues two of them you got coach captain bear man which is whatever i don't think balancia lancia is a good common and giant trainer this is a tier this is a tier 100 percent ots turn map four is a tier has to be a tier a tier minimum 100 percent yeah ots pack four is a tier no question no question ots pack four is a tier all right so i think we go to ots pack five now if it wants to load okay ogre whiptail terraforming oh i remember not liking this one spanish name i don't know why did these ones give us spanish names no why did this one give me a spanish name um ots4 is a tier yeah yeah okay that's what i'm thinking okay oh ghost ogre good whiptail i guess was good at its time but it was really random terraforming is kind of cool dogaran is kind of cool snow is kind of cool i guess quick fist is kind of cool okay now you can argue that apocalypse and where is it uh disciples of the true draco phoenix were good super rares however i would argue the opposite actually i guess apocalypse was but i would argue the opposite because disciples was an ultra rare before the it was like a three dollar or four dollar ultra rare before the super rare print so they downgraded with this one so i don't like that one i just want to check the comments scapegoat i guess whatever secret village is not bad absolute tin goldfish was played for a little bit is this c tier boys this is C tier, right? I'm saying C. Ram Ram. But Ram Ram wasn't even played in Zoo for a long time. OTS 5 got better with time. It did get better with time. It did. Because I remember Quick Fix at the time was not relevant. And then Quick Fix, obviously, they had Spiral format. So Snow was good for when it came out. But then it got banned. But then again, like, whatever. You can't take into account if it's banned or not, right? Because that's not really. It's not the OTS's fault. Lost Wind was pretty good. Guys, I want to say this is better than OTS 2, but it's not as good as OTS 3. Is this B or C tier? It's no, amount, no more than B tier. What do you guys think? B or C tier? I want to go C tier. The good ultis, everything else was... I'm actually thinking with this one. The comments suck. That secret village was a good comment, I guess. Oh, Grave, I remember. Mm. B? Do we go B tier, boys? I think we're going B tier. All right, you know what? I'm going to move on and, and see. I want to. I need to I need to look at some other stuff. Okay. OTS pack 6. Deco Talker, Brilliant Fusion, Invocation. Insane ulties. Uh, drip Brilliant Fusion, though. Supers. Um, low B tier to C tier, I would go C tier, like a B minus. Okay, if it's B minus, you know what? If we're all agreeing to that, then I'm just gonna go C tier with OTS pack five. Um, where's five, 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 five? I'm gonna go C tier. This could be a low B tier, but I'm gonna go C tier. Um, okay, so we're on six now, right? Paleos, all the bad ones. I remember they gave us all the bad ones except Canadia. Set rotation. Okay. Uh, this is not bad. Overload fusion super rare. Common suck. Sky blaster not bad. So oh, Seraphonite wasn't here actually. Okay. I go C tier. This is a solid C tier. This is a solid C tier. I don't think there's argument about this one. OTS pack six is C tier. I think that's pretty obvious. I'm going to go C tier here. So we got rid of... We're done with one. Okay, we're done with one. We're done with two. We're done with three. Get these out of the way. I hate having so many tabs. We're done with four. We're done with five. And I think we just finished six. Yeah, we just finished six. So OTS pack seven. Herald Spider Cyclone. This is just stupid. Um, this is just stupid. Because it's just expensive now. Cyclone is cool. Super rare, super rare. Destrudo was nice. Oh, Fossil Dig is really good. They gave us the good Paleos here. 
Commons, commons. This is what makes or breaks it, to be honest with you. Gatling Dragon. Morella. Why would you donate $50 to end stream? People donate if they like your content. Why would they stream? <laughs> okay, it's just like this. So I put that as a meme. So it's kind of like a meme. If you guys donate like 50 bucks, if like you guys can meme me and be like, yo, end stream, I don't want to see your face no more. Get out of here. It's like a meme. It's not like an actual thing. You guys don't actually have to donate. Also, yo, I want to say this about the donating. You guys don't actually have to donate to duel against me, right? Like if you, if you guys catch me online, if you guys like whenever I go online here, you guys just catch me online, catch me online. It's just kind of like if you guys want to help support and donate, go ahead, donate. That's on you. Don't have to by no means. This is just like a meme thing. It's like, hey, or like, again, $10 for a surrender game. If I'm in mid game about to win, then you guys are like surrender as like a meme, you know? Um, okay. Anyways, I think this is C tier. This might be D tier to be honest, bro. I don't see anything good in this. Cyclone is the saving grace to be honest. C tier. I'm going to go C tier. OTS pack seven is C tier. Let's go C tier. We're seven. OTS pack seven is C tier. High C tier. Yeah, I'll put it as high. It's better than OTS pack five and six to be honest with you. Can I move this back? Okay. Yeah. It's going to be high C tier. Just because this is relevant now, to be honest. Otherwise, um, it's not that great. Uh, can we play a game? Obviously, yeah, in a bit. I'm just doing a, the tier list right now and then we can uh, play a game. You created the end stream for your $50 for your girlfriend? No, I did not. I did not actually do that. <laughs> Joel Lockbird. Yes. Kogari. Oh, I... Okay, this is just a personal thing. I don't think it's a bad thing per se. But this is a personal thing. When they put Kagari in one, Hayate in one, Shizuku in one, and, and Kaina in one, I really hated it. I thought it took away so much from the OTS because, um, like, it's cool for Striker, but it takes up a slot for everything else, and I just don't like that. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, it takes up a slot that could be an, an, another card that people can play, not just if you're a Striker player, you know what I mean? Um, Cosmic Cyclone Fossil, they keep it from the... That's literally the only reason I put it at C2. Yeah, you're right. Literally, just because I'm like, oh, Cyclone, bro. Like, you can't... I can't put Cyclone as a D tier. Like, that's a meta-relevant card. It's always been since it came out, right? Um, but Drone Lock, I think, is good. Scapegoat, I think, is really good. I actually have five Ultimate Rare Scapegoats. Don't ask me why I got five. Uh, Kagari, just personally, I don't, don't like it. I don't think it's good. Bad Super, bad Super, bad Super. Cool Super for its time. Good Super, Machine Dupe. Bad Super, bad Super. Good Super. Good super for its time. Commons were pretty good. No, commons were not actually good at all. Unless you consider Ojama Red as a good common, but Artifact Moral Attack was not bad. Sky okay. Uh oh, this is when they introduced the tokens. Um I'm not gonna count the token. I'm gonna say this is like D tier. Everything was bad, bro. The alties were okay. This is okay. This is okay. This is D tier. I think this is D tier. B tier for OTS on Alti alone? No, but you can't, you can't, you can't rate it based on Alti alone, right? Like, bro, I remember this. Actually, I remember this all, uh, OTS, and I remember always pulling these Supreme King and Supreme Queen, and I was like, I'm wasting my money getting these packs. These are so neg. Bamboo Sword, I guess, had some like niche plays. The only good super was Machine Dupe, to be honest with you. I think Wa Waking the Dragon was cool for its time. Um, Machine Dupe was a bad super. I already had a bad super. I'd say C tier because Joel alone. I want to say D tier. Boys, look at everything else. Moral, okay, Moral Attack is the only good common. Uh, uh, sorry, I guess Curse Seal is not bad. These two got commons, but again, not like great cards. I want to say D tier, but we're going to like, because, okay, boys, you also have to keep in mind, we're comparing it to other OTS packs. It's not an actual D tier, like, pack. It's better than, it's better than a lot of main sets, if I'm being honest with you. <laughs> but can, can, compared to an, an OTS pack, it's like a D tier OTS pack. All right, think about it. We'll think, we'll think on this. We'll go to OTS pack now. Shadow Slicker, Shizuku, Morphing Jar, Stratos was really good. Uh, Super Poly is good, super rare. Supers and commons were horrendous. Yeah, I, I kind of want to go detail. Well, I'll look back at it though. Um, okay, nine shadows good. Liquor is good. Shizuku, in my opinion, bad. Not necessarily bad, but in my opinion, 
Uh, only put it in here because it came off the ban list, but useless. The worst galaxy card to put as a super. This was cool because everything else. This is whatever. This is whatever. Oh, this they put in here because it came off the ban list too. And I'm pretty sure this they put in here because it came off the ban list. But super poly, I will say it's a good one. Sekas was a good one. Spoofing was a good one. Commons are... I mean, this was only good because Halk. Uh, this is kind of cool. Oh, Imperial Order. This one is Imperial Order too. Um, Alright, boys. I'm going to put 8 in D tier. And I'm going to put this in C tier. What do you think? OTS pack 8 in D tier. And OTS pack 9 in C tier. Right? Wow, the ultis were better in OTS pack 8 though. Oh man. Yeah, the ultis were better in OTS pack 8 for sure. I would say Scapegoat and Droll are better than Stratos and Licorice. Actually, no. I think Stratos alone is just elite. Yeah, okay. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put 8 in D tier. And I'm going to put 9 in C tier. But it's going to be like a low C tier. Yeah, it's going to be a low C tier. That's what I'm going to do. I think this is a good place to start. Alright. OTS 10. Colossus, really good. Hayate, again, don't like, but whatever. See, like, this is what annoys me. It's like, okay, they're cool ultis. I love them. But it's three ultis for three different decks that if you pulled one of them, you couldn't play in the other decks. Or just, like, forget pulling them, but just in general. In general, like... Like, they're good alties, but... Like, you can't compare this to something like an OTS... Which one was it with the... Um, like, the cards that don't, don't go into decks, you know what I mean? Like, the generic cards. What was the other one? Like, Strike... What was Strike, Swap Frog, something else. Like, I think that's... A, I don't like these ones, to be honest. But Galatea is kind of cool. Uh, Super Soldier, Solar is not bad. Super GCQ is not bad. Super Sunlight Wolf was very much needed. Babel Super is kind of cool. Then Assault Commons, the Red Layer is kind of cool. This is C tier. This is at best C tier. I don't even think this is C tier. But damn, bro. The Colossus and the Galatea is what carried this whole thing. And Solar is not bad. Uh, let me go on to the next one. I need to compare, bro. This one has the gears to end thing, kind of. Super is here, or hard power super is kind of nice. Uh, this one, the common sucked. Oh, chat. 10 and 11 were both kind of bad. Good ultis, but everything else was bad. Hmm. Think, 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 think. Mm. Guys, I'm like deep in thought right now. Harp and then No, uh, I don't want to put a D tier just because the supers were pretty good. Like Solar was good, Jizukiro was good, Sunlight Wolf. Because you have to remember that at this time, Sunlight Wolf was like a fifteen dollar rare, like a rare. Um, so Sunlight Wolf. One sec, boys. Hey, why is it not updating? My subscriber count should be updating, but it's not. It's weird. Where is it? Hold up. Hold up, boys. Something's going on here. Something is going on here. Okay. I'm not gonna whatever I'm not gonna play with it whatever it doesn't matter right now uh 
If 8 is a D tier, 10 is like low C tier. That's a thing. Yeah, I definitely think OTS 11 is better than OTS 10. I agree with you on that one. Just the fact... Here, again. Three decks. Two decks, but you got a Desires. Alright, I'm going to do it. I'm going to put 10 as a D tier and 11 as a C tier. That's what I'm going to do. Except I can't see these. 10, 10, 10 as a D tier. And then 11 as a C tier. I think that's where we're going to go with that. Alright, we'll go with that. I like that. I like that. All right, OTS 12. OTS 12 was S tier. I remember this. This is S tier. Three amazing ultis. You literally pull any one of these and you're happy. You actually just pull any single one of these and you're in, you're in a good mood. You're blessed for the entire day. You're blessed for the week. Three good ultis. Three, two staple ultis. This is what I like. Two staple ultis and Levy and Nero, which is kind of a staple, kind of semi-staple. I guess you wouldn't say it's a staple. It's like a semi-staple. You had Grand Maju was whatever. I guess it was cool at the time because that's when 60 card deck like Grand Maju was a thing. But you had Jack Jaguar at the time, which was good. Symbol Skeleton, which was good. Serpent, which was good. You had Vishuda, which was good. You had Bredua, which is good. Rage, which is good. Commons, you had Gigantis, which is good. You had Sea Archiver, which is good. You have Flame Buffalo, which is good. You had Kaminari Attack, which was good. Um, you had Tanky, which was this is S tier. This is S tier. This is not even a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is S tier. This is S tier. Where's OTS pack 12? Where's 12? 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. 12 is S tier. That's not even questionable. 12 is definitely S tier. And then uh, we got 13. Boys, we only have three packs left. 13, 14, 15. Let's see what 13 had to offer. I can't remember what 13. Was it 13 Book of Moon? Oh, what did I press? Oh, yeah. Book of Moon, Dweller, Rafflesia, nice. Diva, nice. Golem, nice. Oh, but this is the one that gave us a bunch of random supers that we didn't need. Um, A tier. Floodgate Trap Hole is kind of cool. Gravity Collapse is kind of cool. Formula Synchron was kind of cool. This is A tier. Yeah, yeah, I think 13 is A tier. 12 is definitely S tier. I think this is A tier just because the ultis are Book of Moon, Dweller, and Rafflesia. Three staple ultis. You got Scrap Golem in here, which is a good super. But, like, this is a structure deck. I don't know why they put it as a super right here. Um, Junk Speeder was also a bad super. Crystal Wing, I guess, was a good super because it was. it's not expensive, but it was getting hard to find. So, Crystal Wing, I think, is fine. Bahamut Shark was a good super. Um, these ones were not good supers at all. Uh, common wise formula synchron is kind of cool zolkin was kind of cool zolkin was also i don't know if you guys remember but zolkin was getting really expensive at this point um bottomless floodgate gravity club i'm gonna put this as a tier i'm gonna put 13 as an a tier i'm very confident putting 13 as an a tier i think that's i think that's a motive and then i'm not sure wait one second Oh, it's kind of like frozen. Oh, sorry. I'm looking at my OBS. Something's wrong with my OBS, but it's all good. Um, okay. So we're now looking at 14. Okay, 14. Um, what's it? 13 was hated at first, but aged well. Aged, yeah, it definitely aged well. The ultis are amazing. 14. Super Poly, Toon Kingdom, Nibiru. Uh, Nibiru really. Oh, this is the most recent one outside of 15. Super Poly and Nibiru, really good. Toon Kingdom. Supers. I remember the Supers being really good, but I might be wrong. Red Layer. Wait, is this the... um? Yeah, yeah, Red Layer, okay. So you had Red Layer, Parallel Exceed, Four Strix, Smoke Grenade. A Pointer. What's that commons looking like? Brigadine is not bad. Brigadine is actually a really good common. Ancient Cloak wasn't a bad common. Yeah, 14 goes crazy. To be honest, I don't think it's as good as 13, but I I, I would say it's A tier. The supers are really good. Red layer, parallel exceed, four strix, um, smoke grenade, I guess, because technically it was like a really expensive common. Um, a pointer is really good. Dragoon's common is kind of cool. Singing Lanius is kind of cool. Is, am I thinking of the right one? No, actually, no. Okay, never mind. Singing Lanius wasn't that cool. It's whatever. Um... Is it Ancient Cloak? Which one's Ancient? Yeah, Ancient Cloak is kind of cool. Definitely for sure. Good common. Uh, Void Ogre Dragon, good common. Demise of the Land, good common. Rank Up Magic Launch is good common. Rashade Brigade. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is A tier. And then you guys already. You guys don't even. Do you guys need me to look at 15 again? This is straight F tier. I'm not even putting in D tier. This is F tier. Alright, boys. That is it. This. This is the final 
OTS. Tier list. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this off. It's kind of pissing me off. I don't know what's going on. Right, I'm gonna turn that off. All right. Yeah, 14 is definitely nuts for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why it's A tier. It's for sure A tier. 14 is definitely for sure A tier. No, no question. It's not A tier. All right. This is the this is the final OTS tier list. So at S tier, we have OTS 1 as well as OTS 12 to S tier. In my opinion, super good. OTS 12 was broken like in every way possible. 4, 13, 14 are really good A tiers. I think these are solid A tier. 3 and 2 are good B tiers. Um... Seven was like low, like low B tier, high C tier. So we'll take it like that way. Uh, five. These are all good C tier. And yo, keep in mind, I think C is average. Like if you're a C tier OTS, I'm happy with you. Once you're D tier and under, I think it's bad. C tier OTS is you can deal with. Because usually they have a couple things, right? Right? Like C tier OTS is like they're C tier because they have either... Either something, either like one thing is amazing and then everything else sucks, or like the ultis are not good, but like the rest kind of makes up for it. You know what I mean? So I think C tier is solid. We got seven, five, six, nine, and eleven. Um, eight and what is it? what number is this? Ten? Yeah, ten. I can't see. Uh, eight and ten are for D tier, and then yeah, F fifteen is F tier. Like I'm gonna get, I'm gonna be honest with you, J Ship. Thank you so much, by the way, for making this. You actually clutched it with this. I don't know how to make these. Thank you for making this. You actually clutched it. Um, this is really good. Uh, but yeah, no, this is thank th thank you again, J Ship. I actually really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, Hulk is the only good thing. No, there's two good things with OTS fifteen in my opinion. There's two good things. Hulk is a good thing. And I think level 10 Arm Dragon is a good thing as an ultimate rare. Now, I know it's not like the best ultimate rare in terms of like gameplay, but I think in terms of collectors, I think it's a good ultimate rare. Might be a little bit biased. Won't lie. Might be a little bit biased. But I think level 10 is going to age well over time. Um, Hulk is going to be good. But the thing is, Hulk is one of those cards that if it gets banned, because we're always talking about Hulk getting banned, if it should be banned, if it shouldn't be banned. So the thing is, if Hulk gets banned, then like Hulk doesn't even age well. Even though I don't, I do think it's a good ulti, it doesn't age well. And then Requiem was... Bro, they made ABC Buster a super. They made Crystal Wing a super. And they, then they made Dark Requiem Ixies Dragon a ultimate rare. Someone explain that to me. Like, what is the logic behind that? And you know what I mean? I feel bad for the homie Droll. Bro, Droll got his time. The man had a good ultimate rare, and I think he had a super rare in OTS1. So, yo, listen. Don't feel bad for Droll. His super rare is right up here in S tier. His super rare is right up there in S tier. The ultimate rare, unfortunately, the set was sucked. It's a good ulti, though. I want to get my hands on ultis. I don't have my hands on ultis. I need to get my hands on ulti Drolls. I need to get my hands on ulti... Um... Brilliant fusions because they're cheap right now because they're they're at one. I need to get my hands on ulti instant fusions. I need to get my hands on a lot of ultis, bro. It's an expensive ass game, especially if you want to collect. It's an expensive ass game. Yo, keep in mind, like, let me say this. Keep in mind, these like D tier, C tier OTS packs. The ultis in here are still very expensive. They're just not good sets. But these are very expensive, in my opinion. Um, what's it called? Uh, ultis like the ultis in here are very expensive. They have value, they all have value. It's just again because they're ultimate rares from OTSs, you'll never see them again. So, obviously, damn, this was actually fun to do. If you guys have more like ideas like this to do these like tier lists on stream, I might actually do it. This is kind of fun, but I'll set it up beforehand. Uh, Konami's logic will forever be a mystery to us players when it comes to card selection for packs. <laughs> yes, and no, bro. Like, it's not hard. Like, I don't think it's that. Okay, I mean, I mean, I'm not a Konami employee. I don't know how hard it is. But like, as a player, as 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 a as a, I guess, content creator, as someone who's like over, like overseeing this game, like, oh, you know what I mean. Um, like I see a lot of this stuff, and it just doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me at all, in my opinion. I should have been in one ulti, one of these Harpy's Feather Duster. Harpy's Feather Duster would have made a good ulti, but to be honest, they could have literally just put it in as a super in OTS 15. It just came out. That's what they did with all the other cards that came off the ban list. Remember, like Morphin Jar came off the ban list, Super Poly came off the ban list. Um, and when Super Poly came off the ban list, they put it as a super rare. They just made it as an ultimate rare now in the most recent OTS. But it was a super rare when it came out. Um, Morphin Jar was a super rare after the ban list. Card Destruction was a super rare. 
Like, they should have just done Hobby's Father Us a super rare in here. Like, hey, here's a really good super. If you pull it and you don't pull an ulti, at least you get a really good super out of it. You know what I mean? Um, Ash should have been ulti a long time ago. Um, what other cards? I remember saying Dweller, and they finally gave us Dweller, which is kind of nice. Um, yeah, I definitely think Ash should have been a Harpy's Feather. That's what I mean, a really good super. And they could have done stuff like... They could have done stuff like downgrade expensive cards, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying they should have put evenly or imperm in here. Like, that's... I don't I don't think they should have done that. That's I think that's actually bad for the game when they do that kind of stuff. Because it makes cards that are, like, sought after not sought after anymore. And then, you know, it's just... I don't think that's healthy for the game. But they definitely should have made summer cards that are, like, expensive for no reason to be in here, you know? Yeah. Anyways, that's it for the tier list. Stratos was immediately ulti. But they know heroes, though. Like, they know hero fans are going to buy everything. Uh, trust me, I'm one of them. I'm one of the hero guys. I'm a GX lover. But you guys want... I, I don't want to show you guys my binder. I'm doing a, a collection video later. But if you guys see my binder, like, it's all heroes. Like, all GX stuff. They know hero fans are going to buy into everything. So that's why they put... Bro, they made Dark Lord and Stratos ulties. Granted, Dark Lord was an ulti a long time ago. But Dark Lord and Stratos ulties. And people bought it. I wish I, I wish I bought Dark Lord back in the day. I remember almost picking up a set of Dark Laws for 60 each Canadian, not USD. So that was like 45 USD, 48-ish, 45-48 USD. And I was going to pick up a playset. And then I didn't. I was like, yeah, it's Dark Law. I don't care about Dark Law. And then you guys saw what happened. You got bodied. I now don't own $200, $250 cards. Yeah, that's tough. All right. I promised you guys we'd get into some duels, though. So uh, what I'm going to do, what time is it? 7.50? Oh, we got time. All right, what I'm going to do is I am going to hop into another duel if you guys want to hop on with me. Senor Spanko is the name. I'm going to be playing Cyber Dragon. Actually, I'm going to give you guys... I'm going to give you guys uh, 10 seconds just because if there's any delay. Okay, ready? 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, you bust. So if you guys want to hop in, Senor Spanko, I'm an EU casual. Europe casual. Just because Europe is just so much more busier. US is impossible. I don't know why. It's because all the North American players use Blue Ring Buck. I hate Blue Ring Buck personally. It's just too long. It just takes too long to play. If they called you for OTS 16, what are some ideas? Okay, first of all, one of my goals in life is to be called by Konami to be like, hey, help us promote this product or just be part of the Konami team or be part of... That would be insane. That's one of my goals with this whole Yugi tubing shenanigan gig that we're doing is eventually one day I want to be that like i want to be up there with the guy with those kind of guys you know um so yeah if they called me tomorrow i'd be like woo let's go um but um ots 60 it's hard because i don't know what's going to be meta at that time like the next ots time but uh dueling book is boring yeah also when i'm streaming i don't want to i don't want you guys to watch me for 30 minutes just search cards of dueling like it just takes so much time it's not worth it um does no one want to duel against me let's host again anyways um okay so but like okay but if we could do redo if we could redo ots 15 okay let me just say as we could redo ots 15 here's what i'll do i would keep arm dragon level 10 and i would keep needle fiber because i understand both of those picks all right um Arm Dragon level 10, of course, for the collectors. Obviously, they wanna they wanna they're trying to appease collectors too, right? So I think they would I think that would have been okay. Um let me think of the third ulti. I'm not sure what the third ulti could have been. Let me think of that. For super rares though, I would keep Borbo, I would keep punishment, I would keep um Noctovision. Yeah, I would keep Noctovision. Um, I would not keep Melfi. I would definitely not keep Proxy F Magician. I would definitely not keep any Infernoble. Uh, I might maybe keep Barricade Board Blocker just because it's not in the, um, it wasn't in the tins. Um, what would I put in there as supers instead? Oh, I would put Cursed Eldland or like an Eldritch card in there as a super rare. Because Cursed Eldland is getting really expensive now as a super rare. I think Cursed Eldland would have been a really good one in here. Especially because it didn't get a gold rare print. Um, I would put... 
I guess Dogmatica is still pretty new. I would actually put, funny enough, I would put Mech Knight Orcus Girsu as a super rare. Maybe even an ultimate rare if they wanted to push the scrap stuff. But I, I, I'm not I'm going to say super rare. I'm not going to say ultimate rare. We'll say super rare. I would put Mech Knight Orcus Girsu. It's been almost a year since Echo, so I think that was fine. I would think that would be fine. I would put... You know what I would do? I would put cards like Pot of Desires. Not even Extravagance. I would put Pot of Desires as Super Rare in here. I know it already has an Ultimate Rare, but it hasn't been printed in a long time. So I put Pot of, a Pot of Desires as Super Rare in here. I would put Red Eyes Fusion as a common in here. Okay, let me say that. I would put Red Eyes Fusion 100% as a common in here. Um, give me a little second. Yeah, Red Eyes Fusion would be a common in here for sure. Uh, thinking. Is there any link monsters that need to be in here? I'm trying to think if there's any extra deck monsters specifically. What is Metaphys? I have no idea how to play against this deck. Oh, Adam Anderson Beta Researcher would be pretty good. I actually don't mind that. I think that's a good idea. Researcher, I think, would be not a bad idea. Um, that's it. Nafter, core search emergency. Nafter. If I had access to hers, this would be really good. But it's not hers. Hers. Yo, talk about some other OTS options in the chat. I'm gonna, th I'm gonna think, but I wanna, I just wanna. I think I would care. I'm just gonna dust to him. Okay. And then go normal summon core. Oh, I could have special summon. No, I don't want a special summon. I want a Nashter anyways. Um, for. Oh, do I just go Nashter? Search Cyberload or core search Cyberload make. Al Mirage. Nashter boom summon boom. Cyber load fusion for two. Oh, I can't make Seeger. Never mind. I don't make Seeger that way. Um, thinking, thinking. That's why Nastra is a really, is a really, it's a one of. I'm stuck to machines after I make this. Maybe I just search emergency. Emergency or er, plant soldiers, soldier side summon, search soldier. Oh, bro, I wanted to think this hand out. I think I could always EKG you. Oh, rip. Okay, whatever. I'll go into one more. The newest ghost girl in Echo could have been a good uh, pick. Baby Sarasaurus. Baby Sarasaurus. Oh. Oh. I like that. Uh, ghost girl, you mean, um, what's the new ghost girl? Uh, the wind one. What's her name? Uh, Dogwood, Dogwood. Dogwood, wind or water? Can't remember. But it's Dogwood's the newest one, right? Give me a second. Yeah, I think Dogwood would be cool. I don't think they like to put hand traps. Uh, I guess they put Droll. Oh, you know what I would put in here, though? I would put... I would put... Effect Veiler Super Rare in here. I would put Effect Veiler Super Rare in here. Baby Sarasaurus would have been super dope, in my opinion. I don't know, I'm going Core first. I want to see if he has like an Ash or something. Um, yeah, I think Baby Sarasaurus is a good option. Alright, Core went through. Which means I could search Cyberload. Oh, I had game. This is a huge hand. Cause then I just have infinity, suck this up, um, I cyberload fusion, I OTK. Yeah, that was easy. That one's easy. That one's easy. All right, we'll go next. Well, cyber dragon hands are kind of nasty. Moonlit chill would be moonlit chill. Moonlit chill. Hey, is that is that dogwood? Call my stars on OTS common would be fine. I think it did come common. 
Um, oh, Ghost Mourner. Ghost Mourner. Yeah, yeah, Ghost Mourner. Yeah, that's the Windmourner. Okay, yeah, yeah. And Morning Chill. And Moonlight Chill, I mean. Sorry, I was thinking of um, Dogwood. But yeah, you're right. Moonlit Chill would be kind of cool. But I think Moonlit Chill... Uh, I guess it's Echo, right? Well, it's not bad. It's kind of cheap right now. It's $16 USD right now. I'm looking at it. Oh, I might get myself a playset. I don't have a playset of these. I might get myself a playset. Um... Skullmeister would have been, I think, okay. Uh, I know they did it before, DD Crow. Like, they did DD Crow before, but I think DD Crow would have been okay as a common. Um, Sanctum would have been a good common. I think Sanctum would have been a good common. Gearsu Super, I think, for sure, would have been really good. Like, there's just so many. There's options, bro. There's so many options that they could have done. But they just said, nope, not today. I open kind of poorly. Uh, did I? I don't know. Duster. Can we open Duster? This is why we play Happy Seller Duster. If we open Duster here, I think we win. Oh, Musket. Musket. Interesting. What? Alright. Alright. We'll take it. What are, what are the options you guys got? Let me check my phone real quick. Infinite impermanence? No, no, no. What ended up becoming is a super. They wouldn't do infinite impermanence as a super. Did I just miss someone? Or am I tripping? Ulti. Okay. Ulti imperm they could have done. Oh, okay. Someone's leaving. Okay. Let's go. Uh, Paper Gang. Nope. Scissor Gang. Doesn't matter if we win or lose, because I'm going second regardless. Oh! Dark Ruler No More as an ulti would have been spicy. Oh! They made Nibiru an ulti. They could have made Dark Ruler an ulti. What's the other two? Dark Ruler and, and um... Dimension Shifter. Ah, they could have done that. They could have done Dark Ruler No More in this OTS and Dimension Shifter in the next OTS. Granted, I don't think Dimension Shifter is that great of a card, but just, uh... Wins card notice on Tiger, top two monster gear, special summon, sure, that doesn't matter. There's no thing in the gear. Ulti Link Karibo would have been spicy. Ulti Link Karibo, I think, could have been super spicy. Uh, this next time monster is unaffected by trap effects. Nice, my Imperms are dead. But I have Core Dupe. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Ulti Link Karibo would have been cool. Ulti. I'm trying to think of other ultis. I just like ulti staples. As long as it's a staple, I think it's a good ulti. If that makes sense. You know, if there's something that I could. Bro, what is his hand? What is his hand? Um. Yeah, there's no way he doesn't have a. He can't stop core. Ulti Apollo would have been a good one. Like, do you see what I mean? There's so many options. Ulti Apollo is a good one. Link Karibo is a good one. Dark Ruler is a good one. Imperm is a good one. Um, is he letting this through? Oh, he is. Oh, nice. Um, I do not have a... What do I not want? What do I want, actually? I don't... I do have OTK. Do I rev system here? I rev system. Because if he has something to stop me, I need. I might need this. Oh, Cyberload would have been a good option. That's fine. I don't want to play into Imperm, so let's play here. Uh, Lightning Storm would be an ulti, but I don't like it. It's an already expensive secret rare. They need to downgrade it somehow. This guy's judgmenting my freaking machine, dude. Should have probably searched a different card. Whatever. I have Mega Fleet that outs this. And then I go in battle phase and just hit for 2k or 24. This guy, 
<laughs> what? Nice. Um, I just set three, I think. I don't know what to do here. I'm going to pass. This guy had double judgment for me. Yo, he's 2k life points against the... Uh, he's 2k life points against the... Uh, Cyber Dragon player. That's that's iffy. I'm just going to imperm this, I'm pretty sure. Unaffected by a whole normal. I just imperm this. No point of him getting more cards. Um, that's fine. We're gonna make another Sarah here. Fine. Uh, can't affect Sarah by anything. Sure, he's gonna hit for eight hundred. I core for. What do I core for here, actually? Yo, funny, I only play one Mega Fleet, but Mega Fleet is the out to this deck. That's not good. Okay, I core. Mm. Summoning core doesn't make sense. Because it doesn't get its effect. I could summon hers. Link it away. Search Cyber Dragon. Special Cyber Dragon. That's kind of bad though. Hmm. I could just special the Cyber Dragon here directly instead of her searching Cyber Dragon and specialing it with this. Because if I special it right away, at least I can put some damage on the board. This is 800, but there's no way his traps don't or nothing. Um, hers, Amaraj, Amaraj, search, or hers, search, Cyber Dragon. No, it doesn't do anything for me. I just, I guess, summon special cyber cyber dragon. I just played out. I, the imperms do nothing against this deck, unfortunately. Nibiru also does nothing against this deck. I drew all the cards that do nothing against this deck. Hmm. Interested in playing? Oh, uh, hey Tony. Uh, am I interested in playing progression series? To be honest, kind of testing cyber dragon. I don't know if I want to play progression tonight. We'll talk though, because I'll do. I want to do a full stream for progression series. Alti evenly matched could have been good. Uh, oh, my camera just died. One second, boys. One second. Here's what I have to. Do. I have to do something real quick. My camera just died. Um, where is this? All right, there we go. We're we're going anime spanko now. Um, this is all really bad for me though. All right, would you go to the battle phase? I guess. Um, was Solemn Morning an ulti? Solemn Morning was an ulti in a really old set. I think it was Drev. Dr D D Drev. But, uh, doesn't have an OTS ulti. So, maybe OTS ulti would have been good. Prank Kids Field Spell would have been a good super rare. Bro, you guys are coming up with... Why don't you guys work out? Why aren't you guys working at freaking Konami, bro? You guys should be like, what is going on with OTS 50? Like, look at this. Warning, yes, it was an old, old ulti, but OTS ulti warning would have made sense because they did judgment and they did strike. Why not? Um, prank kids field spell would have been a good super. Um, what other decks are they trying to push? Think of decks that they're trying to push, right? Griffin Wing was just mean. Konami knew what they were doing with that. I refuse to acknowledge the fact that Konami didn't know what they were doing with that card. Original printing of warning was ultra ulti. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Uh, unaffected by trap cards, you can use one of the following effects for turn. You can send, what, send one set spell trap cards. You'll get a special summon this card from your hand. Okay. If you draw no cards, you spell trap cards, banish this card from your graveyard. Okay, this card does nothing. Like, you're just going to make another Sarah here. Okay. But, like, what is he even doing with this? This is just Cyber Dragon Beatdown. What am I playing? 2007 Yu Gi Oh? Oh, that's not bad. I 
I could just attack. I'm gonna attack, because I have game if I attack. And if he has something to stop me, then I'll make a play in main phase two. I don't want to play now and lose to something. Oh. Okay, he just lost. What? He just lost. That is kind of weird. Ulti magical meltdown. Um, I don't know if it would be a good OTS ulti. I think it would look cool, but yeah, I think if there was ulti uh magical meltdown, I'd be like, eh, hey, I don't want to pull this one. Ulti Ash Blossom Hulk and Imperm would have been my choices. Listen, the only thing the only thing I want to say about again, like I said this before, but the only thing about level 10 Arm Dragon is that it makes sense why they put Arm Dragon, right? Like there's no reason to not like because they're pushing that deck right now, and it's for collectors. Right? Um But yeah, OTS. Tony, you just missed out so much. We did a whole tier list for the OTSs. Um hold up actually, one sec. Let me see if I can show you real quick. Where's uh where's my thing? Yeah, we just did this is Ghost Warner. We just did Bush is really cheap by the way. We just did a whole tier list for OTSs. You missed out on it, but we were looking through every single OTS pack in history and what's good and what's not good. Um this is what we kind of decided. Uh, OTS 15 is F tier, worst OTS pack in the history of OTS packs. And that is fact. It's not, that is not something I made up. That is fact. Chat agrees with me. Yo, I really kind of want to play this deck, bro. I love this. Flame Wingman OTK. But it's just so bad. <laughs> it's just so bad. You just go second with heroes and you make Flame Wingman. You make Flame Wingman under this guy. Not under this guy. Under... Uh, under something. He gets boosted by something. And then he gets boosted by Sunriser and you OTK. What's the S tier? Oh, let me show you. Let me show you real quick. One sec. So the S tier... Well, do a quick recap. Well, S tier is OTS 1 and OTS 12. Uh, A tier is OTS 4, 13, and 14. B tier is uh, OTS 3 and OTS 2. C tier is OTS 7, OTS 5, OTS 6, OTS 9, uh, OTS 11. D tier is OTS um, 8 and OTS 10. And then F tier is OTS 15. I think S tier is not, not that questionable, to be honest. OTS 12 had Judgment, Twister, Judgment, Twister, uh, Levianir, Altis. Um, and the supers were good. Uh, OTS 1 had Dark Law, Bountiful Artemis, Vanity Fiend. But outside of the ultis, it had Lizard Draw, Monkey Board, Joker, um, um, Dynaster, Super Rare. Had a Lure of Darkness common. Had just, uh, I remember looking at it. I was like, this is, OTS 1 is S tier, bro. There's, I think this is the best OTS to ever be released. The very first one is the very best OTS to ever be released. And then OTS 12, I would say, is second. But these are S tier. Yo, this this is actually kind of weird. I know you guys probably get this problem too. Kind of weird. But um, I literally was talking to my to my girlfriend on the phone, and we were talking about um, uh, Polaroids, right? So I showed her this square one because I told her I really like the square one over these like bulky ones. Oh my, that's so funny how they came up with that. And then now all I get is ads for these. Sometimes I hate the internet, bro. It's scary. Do, 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 do. Anyways, okay. I'm going to do a couple more duels and then probably hop off. I've been streaming for two hours at this point. So, uh, yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. Let me turn this off real quick. Do you guys want to see the heroes? If you guys want to see the heroes, I'll do a hero deck. Oh, fuck it. Let's do it. Whatever. You guys probably want to see it. Actually, it's very bold of me to assume, but we'll do it. Imagine if Konami made a third ulti true king of all calamities. Okay, let me say this. If this happens, it would be really good. Um, Calamities, I don't think they would make an ulti because I feel like they, have, they want to ban the card. But I do think that if they planned on bringing back Lithosagem to three, they would put Lithosagem in here as a super rare. Next OTS, three ultis that Konami intends to ban. I mean, bro, can I be honest? Whether they ban the OTS ultis or not, as long as they're like fun ultis in a way, you know what I mean? Like, what is OTS? Like, 
I mean, I guess I pull like, no, I guess I pull Halker is kind of not bad. Uh, play Flame Wingman. We're gonna go second. Uh, oh, did I open good? I feel like Ferris Shadow Miss is really good. Is that the combo? I can't remember this combo. I can't remember this combo actually. What am I playing against? Marine Sus? Swap Frog was a good ulti, bro. My Italian ulti and Suffusions cry. I know, Tony. We're just talking. We were talking about it the other day. We were talking about it the other day. Bro, I'm actually getting super tired because uh, I had so many. Like, bro, I've been studying all week. I literally put no content out this week, if you guys didn't notice. I think I had a video on Monday, and then I put no content out this week because I've been studying all week for school. And it's been... It was hell, bro. Double Swap Frog. Oh, am I getting FT... Am I getting... Am I getting FTK? Have you guys seen the FTK before? If you guys haven't, I'm gonna I'm gonna let it play through. I want I want to see. It. I've never seen it myself. I've never seen it myself. Ooh. Alright. Am I not getting FTK? Oh wait. Now I'm confused. Do they always make Toad this early? I remember seeing this Evi Gishki, whatever it's called, FTK before. Alright, I'll just talk to chat while, while he's doing this. I don't know. Oh. Man, boy, man's are getting tired. Marine says, see, Angel. I'm not really sure what's going on. All right, Chuck, talk to me. Let me talk to you guys, because I don't know what the heck's going on. I'm just watching. Opinions on Iceberry structure deck list. I think it's garbage. I think people voted for Iceberry as a meme and then now they're regretting it because now Konami's showing them what they're giving and then they're like, bro, I've been seeing it on I've been seeing it on Twitter and people are like um talking about the Ice Dragon thing and like people have been talking a lot of shit to be honest with you. And if I'm being real, like I saw it and I'm like, man, this is garbage. Like they reprinted Swap Frog as a common, and they reprinted a pointer, I guess, a random ass pointer in it. But like, I remember seeing it, and I was like, "Man, there's nothing in this structure that that sounds out." The deck is still horrible. People who voted for it memed, and then, um, yeah, it was just bad. I don't know. Is this wait, Tony? Is this now a towers? Is that what you're trying to say? What 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 was going on? All monsters is monster you control, blah, blah, blah. Monster you uh, link summon using miniatures, crystal heart is material unaffected. But don't you have to use crystal heart to become unaffected? Um, the main is battle ocean. Uh, unaffected by opponents, monster effects when this card is an extra monster zone during the hammer sub. If this card battles the opponent's monster, affected by card effects, the surface zone when this card is the main is monster. So can I just attack over this? Oh, people are going off about the structure. Yo, talk about the structure. I'm gonna read chat in a second. I'm gonna try to see if I can I can beat this somehow, some way. Um, pitch. Uh, activate. What is? Sh do I search chat on this? Out of here, monster. Do I want to do that now? I'm gonna definitely Ferris. Yeah, I'll shadow on this now. Whatever. Doesn't hurt. Search honest Neos. Um, I'll search definitely honest Neos, right? 
Ja, das ist Neos. Sehr schön. Oh, I can't attack anything but do. Oh, I just noticed that. Oh, but he still has Toad Negate, actually. He could negate the increase. But he's not. Is he going to negate Vion effect? If I was him, I would probably negate Vion. Actually, maybe not. He negates Vion, I still go... Actually, no, he negates Vion is bad. Send Mali. Nice. Now the question is... I have to attack this. Then I have to attack this. And, and he has protection. Wow. I don't know how I'm going to help this. Let me look at chat. I'm getting kind of... I don't want to think too much. Did he even put swap? Did they only put dupe and Ronin? Oh, I thought swap frog was in there. Did they even put swap? Wow. That's actually super neg. What? I actually think that bad structure deck should get broken reprints. I agree with that because a bad structure deck can be sold if there's evenly matched or imprints in there. I actually wanted Ice Bears as a deck. I voted for this, but I didn't think it was actually going to win. Yeah, see, too much meme is not a good thing. Meme is fun. Too much meme is not fun. Um, I'm gonna activate. I need to search a poly somehow. I need to get poly in my hand. I need to get poly to my hand. Oh, I actually got poly. Nice. Nice. All right. So now I make. Now I make cross sky. And activate this. I'm trying to bait out the toad. I want to see if he, he I, I, need, I need him to bite. I need him to bite. Nothing? He's just going to hold? Oh, okay. All right, mate. We'll take that. Activate. Pop the Mali. I need this. Oh, he's letting this go through. I haven't normal summoned. I can technically summon Stratos. But I need to search for Cinetrix here, I think. Hmm. I need to search Bristinatrix. <laughs> this is hard. When you vote for me, uh, bait with cross guy. He didn't negate cross guy though. Um, snake sunriser. But what do I search? Do I have to search Bristinatrix here. I have to send search Bristinatrix. I kind of want to search Stratos though. Stratos pop two. Uh, it doesn't do anything. I haven't normal summoned. But I've already used Vion effect. A liquid soldier? Oh, I could liquid soldier. Uh, no, por, por favor. Hablas espanol. No, por favor. Ingles only. But I do know. Ja, ja, ja. Does that mean? Search of dusted gold? I think that's a play. I think I do search of dusted gold. Try to make a. Bane. Bane sama. 
Oh, oh, wait. I do have malicious fist. Let me do malicious. So I'm gonna malicious. Uh. And then I make um, this boy Wonder Driver. I could search, I could make this, but I think Wonder Driver is a play. Oh, I think I might need Dread My uh, Decimator to be over his monsters. Decimator. Yo, I could go Decimator. Oh, no, but I can't even attack dupe. Oh, no. Wonder Driver is the play, I think. Okay, let's do that. Let's do Wonder Driver. Okay. I'm gonna activate it as the gold here. He still hasn't negated anything with Toad. As soon as he negates something with Toad, I go off. I'm just trying to think, think of the best. Oh, he's letting this go through. Seriously? Do... How does Bane work? He can, if I make Bane, I force the negates. I think that's the play. I think I have to force the negates. I'm going to do that. Giant Rex would have been a cool super... Yes. Actually, yes. I very much agree with that. Giant Rex would have been a cool one. Baby Sarasaurus, like you said earlier, would have been a cool one too. I think those are both really good... Um, really good options. Is he not going to let this go through? If he negates this or he negates Bane, then I'm fine. I just need it to negate something. If he has Marine says monsters, I won't even be able to destroy this, but it's fine. Yes, no, maybe. Should I message him and be like, por qué? Actually, is por qué Spanish? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is Spanish. Por favor, amigo. Angle, angle. Yo, I speak nice, eh? I'm nice with it. Don't lie, chat. I'm nice with it. That was good. Oh, my printer is going off. Why? I'm not sure. You guys hear my printer? That's kind of funny. Do you, get, you guys definitely hear this. No, I guess not. Hmm. Yo, I don't think this guy's gonna let me let me play. Hola, amigo. Esta. I think that means how are you? Are you good? It's like esta, like you good? I don't speak a lot of Spanish. I'm Canadian. We learned French here. And even then, I don't speak a lot of French either. Oh, is this disrespectful? Is what I'm saying rude? No, right? It's not rude. I'm not trying to be rude. He just said, uh, habla en español. So I'm assuming he's español. What's going on right now? Why am I waiting for a dark calling to be activated? If you don't negate this, your monsters are going to get destroyed. Well, you could also negate Bane, but you got to negate one of them or else. I did not plan on playing heroes today. But I mean, I guess we did what we did. We had to do what we got to do. I just wanted to play. I think it's fun.
Alright. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait. I have no idea what's going on now, chat. I'm just trying to wait for this guy to finish up. For the muchacho over here. Oh, what are you guys doing this weekend? I'm studying and I am filming for next week. What are you guys up to? I got nothing. I got st I have so much shit to do. Starting next week though, I have exams. So that's why I gotta study all week or weekend, but this weekend I, I have a little bit of time. Probably tomorrow morning I'm just gonna I'm just gonna film like two to three videos for the week. Yeah, that's right. I film all my videos beforehand. You have to. I need time to edit this stuff, you know? It ain't easy. Does this guy just go AFK? I need AFK. Good luck on your exams and thank you. I'm gonna need them. I'm gonna need that luck I need. I'm actually gonna need- oh he just dipped? Alright. It is what it is. It was good knowing you, brother. It was good playing against you. Toby, good luck on your exams too, bro. Bro, I wish I had my face cam. I can't believe my face cam died. I don't want to... Like, my bad. I use a DSLR, if you guys don't know. I use a DSLR for my face cam, so... If it dies, you know, it dies. My bad. I didn't, I didn't think it was died, but... I charged it beforehand, but whatever. Uh, Chaz, thank you for the luck. I appreciate it. All right, boys. I think I'm going to end the stream off here, because uh, it was a long stream. We're at like two and a half hours almost. Uh, actually, like two hours and like ten minutes to be honest. I'm just exaggerating. But I'm happy with the tier list. Let me show you guys the tier list one more time. I'm actually very happy with this. If you guys have more ideas like this, yo, hop on the streams more often. I actually had fun with you guys. Uh, Jchip, thank you for doing this. I appreciate you again for doing and making this for us to all look at. Everyone else, thank you guys for being here in chat. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Uh, you guys are what keeps me going. You guys are what makes this channel and everything going on possible. So, thank you guys. Goal for 2021 is 10,000. I don't know if I can make it happen, but share with your boys if uh, if you think I can make it 10,000. Bro, it's the subscriber thing stopped working, but we're at 3,920 currently. So, we're almost at 4,000, and at 5,000, I have a really special opening that I want to do. So, see if we can get to 5,000. Anyways, thank you, boys. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for being here. Um, I'll catch you guys next Friday. I guess you guys, my video, I have a video on Monday, but um, I'll catch you guys on stream next Friday. All right. Peace out, boys. Thank you for being here. I appreciate every single one of you guys. All right. Peace.